but this is your new topic, land, sea, and sky. Uh, what I've created here, um, and it's not quite finished yet, but um, this will show you uh, what we've got so far. This is called a HyperDoc, and while we're working from home, and possibly as we continue to work in school as well, we'll be using these. Um, it's a place where you've got all your resources for your learning, and this is actually where you're going to save your work as well. So I'm going to run through uh, what's in this HyperDoc today. It's made in Google Slides, but you don't need to go into the present mode. You don't particularly need to go into this full screen mode to watch it, um, to use it. In fact, it's easier for you not to. Now, this HyperDoc, it belongs to you. It's your own copy. So don't worry about changing things and moving things and doing things in this. So uh, what have we got? We've got our title page. Then on the second page, this explains about it being your HyperDoc, and this is how we hand in our work. So there's a video down here okay, uh, that I've made uh, to show you how you can do that. That video is a little bit small, so remember you can always go full screen, or you can click to watch on YouTube, and it will open it up there in YouTube for you um, so that you can watch that a little bit more comfortably. Um, once you've had a look at that, on to the next page. Um, so our topic is land, sea, and sky. Uh, we're gonna be looking at habitats of different creatures and plants, uh, both on the land and in water. We're gonna concentrate mainly to start with, at least on water. And there's a couple of videos just to get you thinking about what we might be learning. First one is a trailer for a beautiful series called Blue Planet, which is presented by um, a man called David Attenborough. Um, so really, really cool. Uh, the trailer there again best to watch that one full screen so you can see all the cool stuff going on in there really fantastic kind of video making in here um, really cool ideas you can use this for your task later on as well um, to, to uh, for your entry point task uh, then you've got a video here um, which explains kind of what habitats are so this is kind of going to be um, the main kind of focus of what we're going to be doing uh, in our learning. So you've got a five minute or so video there. Really, really cool. Gets you thinking about how animals change and adapt to their, um, to their habitats. Okay, so really, really cool videos there just to get you thinking, but you can use them in your next task as well. Um, then on here, this is our entry point task. So um, if we were in school, we'd be going on a field trip perhaps to a river um, to do some exploring and see what we can see. Obviously we can't do that at the moment uh, with the school being closed um, due to the lockdown. So we're gonna try and do kind of a virtual field trip. What we've got here are four links. The first three are 360 degree kind of uh, videos and they're kind of cool. I wanna show you how you can explore them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna explore some of these. You don't have to look at all of them. Maybe you think, okay, this one's got kind of an underwater national park. This one's about wild dolphins. This one's swimming with hammerhead sharks and this one's exploring the Great Barrier Reef. The first three are videos. This fourth one is kind of an interactive website that has videos and things like that that you can use. Um, you do need to know how to control these videos. So if I go into the Wild Dolphins one, best thing to do probably is to go click to watch on YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna move myself down to the bottom there. Uh, once it starts loading up in YouTube, um, if you make it go full screen, that's kind of useful. Have a look up here, you've got a control up here. Okay, you can control it on screen as well. One of the things to do if I just pause it just for a moment, is if it looks a little bit pixelated, a little bit grainy, you can go to the quality settings here. Just have a little play around with those. If you go down to that 144, it's gonna be really grainy, not very, very good. If you maybe try to aim to be on this 1080, 1080p, um, it should play pretty well depending on your Wi-Fi. Um, so this is, can you see how I can grab the screen and I can move around? Now, if you click by accident, it pauses. It gets a little bit annoying, so you've got to do that. If you want to, you can use these um, controls up here. As with normal um, YouTube videos, you can skip along. But look, you can kind of get really, really close. Um, if you pause, you can then have a look around, check there's no dolphins behind you. But look, you can see the cameraman or one of the other divers behind you and you can see what's going on here. So you can explore these videos, really, really cool. You can, I think on a tablet, just use your finger to control where you're looking. So really, really kind of beautiful video that you can look at. So that's how we explore that. You can either use the mouse to drag around or you can use the little controller over the side here. You can hear the dolphins as well. So really, really cool videos. Um, that's what I'd like you to explore. So those first three, 
are all similar to that. You control them in the same way. This one, uh, this last one, if you click on it, it will take you to this website called Attenborough's Reef. So David Attenborough is a TV presenter. He's really old, I think he's about 90 years old from the UK. And this is basically an interactive journey into the Great Barrier Reef. You can click on Explore, you can watch the introduction video, it's only a minute this or so long, one of the most um, which is really cool. And then just click Continue, and it takes you into lots of different places. So you've got a map in Australia where you can explore some of these places, okay? So you've got different videos that you can watch, you've got information, you can just keep scrolling through. You do not have to go through the whole of this website. It's just to give you a flavor of what some of the creatures in the underwater habitats look like, okay? So once you've done that, it says see next page for your tasks. So if we go down onto uh, the next page, this is your task. And what it says is think about what you saw as you explored the underwater environment. So I'd like you to create a sketch on paper or computer. Now on your computer, you can, if you're in Google Drive, go to new, oops, let me move my head out of the way, new. And then if you go to more, you can go Google drawings. You can try doing a drawing with the computer. It's pretty tricky. However, there is a little trick um, I will put in a separate video if you want to have a go at Google Drawings. Um, so uh, what are you going to do? You're going to do a sketch on paper or on computer to show what you discovered when you're exploring those videos. Also, if you've ever been to the beach, ever been snorkeling or diving, include things that you've seen as well. This is plants as well as animals. So when you've finished, um, use your phone or whatever or your tablet, take a photo of it and try and paste it in below here. You can email it to yourself if that helps. Okay, so I've done I've actually cheated. I found a picture on the internet just to give you an example. So I've got a underwater sketch here. What I've done, this was made on a computer and I've started labeling it. I'd love you guys to add more labels as well to yours. Add some color as well. You can do it by pencil and take a photograph of it. That's absolutely fine as well. How are you going to add it into this? Now remember, this hyperdoc is your own one to edit. So you can go to insert image and then if you've saved that photograph to your computer you can just go to wherever you saved it on your computer mine's on my desktop and we can put it in there okay then you can make it a little bit bigger and if you wanted to you could even put a text box next to it to show um, and you could write some notes about what you've included there okay um, that would be really really nice because it'd be great to get a collection of these also, if you've got insert image, um, you can do camera. Now, camera's not going to work for me at the moment. I'm just going to turn that camera off. I'm going to allow the camera. And let's say I've done my sketch. I could hold it up to my laptop camera. This is obviously not a sketch. That's a picture of Varjak. And take a photo. There we go. And go insert. And there it is. It takes that picture in there. Obviously, I don't want a picture of Varjak Poor in there, but that is your task for this first um, activity to create a sketch of an underwater habitat from what you've learned about in these videos. Okay, then, guys, looking forward to seeing what you can come up with. I'll see you soon.